Hello everyone, I know it's been a while, but I am back with another video. Um, for those who are wondering, I'm not quitting and I don't plan to quit. I just decided that because I don't play Dark Cries as much and I don't have as many ideas as I did before, I would reduce the amount of videos that I am uploading. Having said that, we are back and today we are going to be looking at another Dark Cries video. In this video, I've picked out five areas within Dark Cries to talk about. They're not ranked, I'm not looking at best to worst, I've just picked out 5 areas because I feel like either they're one of my favourites, they have a significant role in Dark Cries, or because I think they're really interesting and could be really useful to new players or players that are trying to grind for example. I've picked out 5 areas and I'm going to go through each one of them separately and talk about them. The first area that we're going to be looking at is Hilltown. Now this area is a peaceful area so it's a non-combat zone, there are no mobs or enemies to be killed there, it's just a peaceful town. I've picked this area for two reasons. Number one, I think it's really really good looking. I don't know who does the art for Dark Cries but they did a really good job with this. I think it's really nice looking, it's obviously been revamped and the artwork, the background looks absolutely brilliant. But more importantly, and this is the second reason I picked Hilltown, is because all the important NPCs that you need to interact with are in this area. There's obviously a person who takes charge of your storage. You can obviously access your jeweler who um, allows you to insert gems and runes into your equipment. You can obviously sell items. Uh, one NPC um, does upgrades, enchantments. Um, you can look at maps and stuff um, You can repair equipment as well uh, There's a shop There's a shop for tools as well That you can use to collect resources And there's also And this is what a lot of players don't know There's also a, a demon shop as well A special shop And in this shop it has unique chests It has um, You can buy gems you can buy a scroll which allows you to reset your passive skill tree and all of these npcs are in this map this area hilltown so it makes hilltown a really useful area for kind of maintenance and therefore it's the reason why it is the first area in this video the next area that we're going to be talking about is ancient fortress now ancient fortress is my favorite area and if you ask a lot of other players it is their favorite area as well and the reason why is because ancient fortress is just so good for so many different reasons number one it is a pretty simple map like there's not much parkour a lot of jumping it's not too long it's a pretty simple map in terms of its layout however it has quite a few elite enemies and it's probably the first area in dark cries especially on fatal difficulty that a lot of players will struggle to complete because of the elite mobs and the obviously elite boss at the very end of ancient fortress it's also a brilliant place for farming it's great for farming gems and crystals especially crystals because there is a chest room at the very end which just drops a lot of crystals um, a lot of coins because of the high level enemies that you'll find there um, it's also great at resources because it drops a lot of resources so if you have tools like a knife or a pickaxe you will find a lot of resources there and it's just great in general for grinding it's level 130 so it's decently high and it's just a great map for a lot of players to use it also has some pretty cool unique items as well the next area that i'm going to be talking about might actually surprise a lot of you and it is frost hill which is level 135 to level 150 now i don't actually like the layout of the map basically it's pretty long and it's split into sections so once you reach a certain point the camera will cut off and you can't go back and basically 
enemies will spawn continuously and you can only advance when you kill all of them and then you advance and then the camera will split off again and the cycle continues however the reason why it's on this list is because i think it is a great training ground before you go and do bridge of stagnation obviously it is the highest level area before you go to bridge and i feel like instead of going straight into bridge like we would do before what you could do is you could practice and level up with frost hill you could even try and do frost hill on fatal difficulty and i think if you can do that it will better prepare you for fatal bridge especially when you consider the fact that the way enemies spawn around you will be very similar to the way they will spawn in bridge of stagnation because it's so long there's also going to be a lot of chances for resources to spawn and that makes the area very good for collecting resources it's also pretty good at leveling up of course and collecting crystals and coins speaking of bridge of stagnation that is the next area on this list bridge of stagnation is the last and highest leveled area in the game leveled at level 129 to 200 for most players the end goal of dark cries is to complete fatal bridge and reach level 200 bridge of stagnation is a bridge where you stand and fight off wave after wave of enemies until level 200 and you will face all the enemies actually no most of the enemies that you have faced in previous areas in dark cries including many of the elite enemies and bosses um, it's obviously a very long map and it will take you quite a long time to complete especially on fatal difficulty and a lot of players especially after they reach 170 complain about the fact that it's just really really long to complete and really pointless as for most of it you won't be getting any xp if you are really high level having said that it's obviously great fun for when you're a lower level let's say 150 160 it's also great for farming crystals unique items um legendary items just most stuff that you need it doesn't actually drop many resources if any resources at all but you'll be too busy fighting to notice anyway the last area that's going to be in this video is slime fields which is level 49 to 52. now slime fields is the lowest level area in dark cries that drops legendary equipment and this is obviously quite nice because it means that you can get legendary equipment very early on in the game the reason why it is on this list at slime fields is because slime fields is probably the first area that a lot of players might find difficulty finishing because of the slimes that are there the slimes kind of jump on you and they do a decent amount of damage slime fields is also on here because it's a nice place for farming it's a really flat map which allows you to do it quickly without too many jumping it's just really simple to do and it actually drops quite a lot of crystals which also is very useful for buying and enchanting items that's all the areas that i wanted to look at today um if you have more areas that you think should have been in this video leave them in the comments but until next time that's goodbye from me